welcome viewers if still you're not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe and also click the bell icon to get technology updates regularly on this jp infotech channel hi in this video we are going to see about a java based cloud project which is entitled as optimizing information leakage in multi cloud storage services so let me brief about this project basically this project deals about multi cloud storage service so the, the difference between the single cloud storage service and multi cloud storage service is like the data that we upload in the cloud will be storing in a multiple clouds instead of single cloud system as we do in all other projects so in this project the authors are propose that when we are using multi cloud storage service there is a problem of data leakage so to overcome this le data leakage the authors have proposed the concept of store sim so basically this store sim stores the similar data on the same cloud to minimize the users information leakage across multiple clouds so for this purpose we are going to use minhash function so what is the need of this minhash function is like basically the cloud should not know the content that we are uploading so what it happens is like using this minhash function we will identify the blocks so which are the similar blocks are available it will be storing those data on the similar cloud storage services so let me show you the execution of the project so here you can see different cloud services cloud 1 cloud 2 cloud 3 and you can see the metadata server so whenever the data is uploaded to the cloud so the data will be splitted into for example three cloud means it will be splitted into three data chunks and metadata server holds those information of minhash function and it tells to the uh, cloud server that these are the similar data and, and which which place it should be stored so let me show you the execution of the project we have developed this project in java using netbeans 8.2 and for the database we have used mysql so let me first load this project into the netbeans so kindly wait till the complete background scanning project pro process of this project is completed until that we will show you that uh, here as we use cloud service we'll be using drive hq cloud service so the data will be uploaded in this place only so let me log in and i will show you those things now and you here you can see the instruction before running the project you should create a folder called file split in d drive before running this project so let me create that so i have created this file split so it is empty here so that's it so now let me show go to the netbeans and uh, here if you are seen some css error not a problem just you can ignore it but in case if you wanted to even clear it just go and clear and do filter out and now you can see it is been cleared so basically it is a css base so now just right click the information information leakage and click run
So this is the home screen welcome screen of the project with the project title optimizing information leakage in multi cloud storage services and the abstract that is mentioned in the base paper and here you can see the three entities user cloud and metadata server. So here you can see the entities mentioned client metadata server and the storage services. Okay. So now first I will show you with the uh, user part. So in the user part as I am a new user I will click register and first and log in with the, those credentials. So enter the name, email ID, date of birth, gender, phone number, address and password and click sign up. So the registration is now successful and click OK. Now I will log in with the registered email ID and the password and click login. And once if you are logged in, you can see the welcome screen of the user page. So here you can see the option of file upload, my file, download file, view downloads and logout. So let me show those details on by one. So here in the upload file, first we'll go to the upload file. So here you, you wanted to upload a file here. So for example, I will I will just create a file called multi cloud okay so let me open and show you so this is the content of that so multi cloud so let me enter the file keyword as multi cloud and then select the file which is in the D drive multi cloud so here once if you selected you can see the file content here now click pre-process so once if you click pre-process the file will be up updated here you can see the file name so as i said you as we are using multi cloud concept here once if you have uploaded the file the file will be split into three blocks here block one which has been encrypted and block 2 which has been encrypted and block 3 which has been encrypted and as I said you these all will be stored in a drive HQ cloud service so let me log in and show you so here once if you see that once after logged in you can see we have created three different clouds cloud 1 cloud 2 and cloud 3 So let me delete these files which are available. So to show you the example, I'll, I'm going to empty these things. So now I'll click upload. So the three data chunks that we uploaded will be updated in Drive HQ and you can see those things in the console also. Here you can see in the console cloud one, cloud two and cloud three. And now it has been success and the file has been uploaded. So if you go to my files, you can see the file ID, file name, the uploaded date, you can see the date 
and the decryption key of it and the action so first I will show you this one so where you can refresh it so here you can see now you can see multi cloud one the part of the file and in cloud two here you can see the time and date which has been uploaded now so here you can cloud three you can see so the files are being uploaded in the drive hq also okay so coming back to our part so here you can see my files action so in action click view here you can see if you wanted to update this file you can update it from here so before that we will log out and go to the cloud and metadata server to show you the, those details so for logging so here we have given you the the details that is for cloud server it is cloud cloud and metadata server is server server so for metadata server i will show you server server and login and in metadata server here you can see cloud files what are the files available in the cloud and block files and downloaded downloaded files and in cloud part and in cloud plot you can see cloud files and user details so this is the user created by me now so now we will see the um, so here in the metadata server So in the metadata server you can go to block files so here you can see block one so what all the files available in the block one now you here you can see multi cloud which is updated by by now here you can see the minash similarity verified similarity so both are same the file is not been changed okay and again so in block two here you can see multi cloud two so minus similarity and verify similar both are same and it is original okay and coming back to the third one so here you can see so all the three blocks are had are not been updated so it has been in the original format only so here you can the cloud files option you can see everything in a single table for example multi cloud.txt you can see minash one that is b first to for, the, for the first block so it is both are same for two second block you can see both are same and here you can see for the third block it is been same and completely it is original okay so now i will update you now let let me update any of the block and show you the variation so let me log in into the user part now so go to the my files here before that copy this decryption key and view so here you can see the blocks and decrypt so which block you wanted to enter you wanted to modify or update you can select those block in case if you don't know that one you can select each one and check it out so once if you select this block you can see what is the content available in this block if you wanted to update here you can update or come back select the block 2 and check whether you wanted to update here or in case if you wanted to select block 3 and select so for example if i wanted to update here in the block 3 thank you thanks contact me at 
so this is the content i wanted to update in this file but the content available in that data block 3 only will be updated and blocks 1 and 2 will remain the same so let me show you that one so now click update so now the contents has been updated so let me show you that one so go to the download file and click download so here in the multi cloud let me show in save in the desktop so open it and here you can see now thanks contact me at double nine five two so this has been updated okay so now we'll go to the in view downloads you can see which is the file downloaded by you here you can see that option now let me go to the metadata server so now in the metadata server go to the block files here you can see block 3 here you can see before that it was the same but now you can see the minimum similarity of block 3 is changed and so only the block 3 is been updated in cloud files you can see every table here you can see similar the block 1 minash similarity is same block 2 also is same but here you can see for block 3 it is different before that it was same so it was not modified and here you can see it is been updated now so only the block 3 content will be updated So in the downloaded file you can see which was the file downloaded by the user and final part will go to the cloud so in the cloud part you can see the cloud file user details and downloaded files here you can see the downloaded files by now and in graph part you can see the dynamic graph which shows the average encryption time in microseconds and average decryption time which is a dynamic according to the encryption decryption done in our system and it varies according to the file that you are going to be uploaded so if you wanted to save this analysis graph you can just print or save as jpeg or png so let me save in the desktop as chart and you can see those results here and this is all about the project optimizing information leakage in multi-cloud storage services and thank you for watching